a recreation of the attack of Charles Sumner on the congressional floor. Not in any common lust for power did this uncommon tragedy have its origin. It is the rape of a virgin, of a virgin territory, compelling it to the hateful embrace of slavery. It may be clearly traced to a deprived desire for a new slave state. Hideous offspring of such a crime, in hope of adding power of slavery in the national government. That damn fool is going to get himself killed by some other damn fool. For her, his tongue is always profuse in words. Let her be impeached in character, or any proposition made to shut her out from the extension of her wantonness. And no extravagance of manner or hardlyhood of assertion is too great for this senator. Two days later, in Representative Lawrence M. Kite's office. I am furious that Mr. Sumner insulted my kin. I shall challenge him to a duel. You cannot challenge him to a duel. Duels are between two gentlemen, and Sumner is no gentleman. Then I shall beat him. I got your back. Mr. Sumner, I've read your speech twice over carefully. It is a libel on South Carolina and Mr. Butler, who is a relative of mine. The Opposing Reactions Between Northerners and Southerners This right here is a reaction from a southern plantation owner. I support what Brooks did, and I even sent him a cane to fix his snap one that he broke. This is a reaction from a northern factory worker. Brooks is out of line, and he should be punished and thrown in jail for his crime he committed. Because of this attack, this was one of the major causes of the Civil War. This further widened the cultural and ideological gaps between the North and the South, increasing tensions. Now you're probably asking, whatever happened to Charles Sumner and Preston Brooks? Brooks became a hero in the South, and Sumner was considered a martyr in the North. Both of these men eventually returned to Congress. Brooks did after paying his fine to the court, but he did not serve any jail time. And Sumner returned but was never the same after the attack. 